Well, hey guys, uh, welcome back to the channel. Um, <laughs> it looks like I'm going to have to pull the head on this uh, 453T and uh, <clears throat> have a look at it. Um, before I buttoned it up, I just wanted to check the injectors on it just to make sure it wasn't the injectors causing uh, the emissions. <clears throat> and they were coked really bad. Um, yeah, really bad. So. So that got me thinking, hmm, I wonder why. Could it be the duty cycles? I do a lot of city driving with this and it's it's gridlock here. Uh, in Kelowna, in the mornings, it's uh, bumper to bumper. And it's basically an hour of idling every day. Uh, so that's not good for the Detroit. It needs to be worked. And with, uh, with COVID here and, and the travel bans, I haven't been able to get the, uh, the good road trips get it working hard so anyway I looked at that and then I thought well I'll bring out my probe <clears throat> while the injectors are out and have a look so um, I'll, I'll link the pictures in the video here to, to show you You know they're pretty hard to see but definitely cylinder number four uh, has foreign object damage uh, either aluminum or uh, piston rings or something in embedded in the piston so uh, I mean it runs beautiful you never know you, this thing just other than the emissions and I think the bypass probably would solve that great so anyway having said that I thought okay we'll we'll have a look so I put my scope in there and um, cylinders one to three look fine but cylinder number four looks like it's got the uh, aluminum pieces in there and that's what I was seeing in the exhaust uh, before and and I couldn't find it again so I thought well I'm, I'm obviously it must be debris off the road but anyway so I decided to uh, to do a compression test on it um, and I did that and and they're all below what the manual says they're 350 cylinder number three was 350 uh, cylinder number four was 330 and one and two were 340 I mean <clears throat> it starts really well it runs really well but again compression is uh, low so um, if I didn't know better and I hadn't pulled out my scope, um, we'd be sending this engine. So uh, I've got all the parts and bits to pull the head and, and have a look and put the head back down, but I think I'm gonna have to replace that piston on number four with a new piston. Um, we'll see what the damage is. There's definitely damage, and I'll show you uh, in this video the, the damage, but uh, Anyway, I thought I'd bring you along for that. Sorry, I didn't bring you along for the uh, the compression test and and the bore scope, but honestly, you you really you can't can't tell. It's it's uh, very difficult to to look at that damn tool I bought that bore scope thing. Anyway. Here it is, uh, just pulling the jake heads off again uh, and get ready to disassemble the, uh, the head, pull it off. Um, 
The source of the aluminum, I still don't know. So. Yeah, so this one's, uh, it's got me a bit stumped. I'm not sure why or how that uh, aluminum got into the that cylinder, but we'll find out if I can find out. So <clears throat> we're going to take the blower right off this time instead of just uh, inspecting it through this uh, intake there. Hopefully I'll find bits and pieces missing because I'm really stumped. Um, but I'm sure it will reveal itself when I uh, take it apart. So <clears throat> it'll probably be uh, an in-frame, uh, most likely, for cylinder number four. So I'll just yank the engine, drop the pan, and uh, pull that piston liner set out. Um, and then just, you know, try not to make this a major overhaul. <laughs> I, uh, I'm getting tired of the major overhauls on this thing. This is uh, round number two on this engine, so, um, yeah. If I didn't have so much money into this thing, I think I'd, um, I, I know I shouldn't say that C word, but <laughs> I might, might have gone with a 24 valve Cummins. Um, but I have faith, though. like I say, I must be, uh, must be thick or something, but I have faith in the Detroit. Um, and another thing, it could be the driving style. A couple of guys have mentioned the, uh, the transmission. Maybe I should turn up the RPMs to shift at a higher, higher RPM. I've got it, uh, shifting, um, it'll pull hard down to 1600. And being this is a silver series, I mean, the max torque is 1500. So I've been pulling it right hard down to 16 and letting it hang at 16 with 20 PSI of boost and uh, 950 on the EGTs. And, and I've been running like that since I rebuilt it. So maybe it's the style. Maybe I'm, I'm maybe it's lugging. I'll, I'll, anyway, we'll find out, guys. <laughs> follow along and we'll see what happened to this thing hopefully it's not a major ordeal but uh, maybe a one piston and liner set and that's it but uh, a little disappointing I have to say after uh, spending so much time and, <clears throat> and effort on this thing but it's been fun I, I don't regret doing it it's been a lot of fun and uh, we'll keep pursuing this uh, this avenue and see what happens but uh i'd like to really get this thing ironed out so that i can just run it i have been just running this damn thing for a year now 17 uh 16 000 miles on it um it's been fantastic and if you showed me those pictures and said that's your engine i i wouldn't believe you the way this runs i mean it starts fantastic it just runs so smooth. Anyway, we'll uh, we'll find out soon enough. Anyway, enough said, guys. Thanks again for watching, subscribing, and commenting, and uh, we'll catch you on the next video. Take care.